South Florida, Twist Gaming. Featuring lead broadcaster, Matt Koza. Co-host and creative genius, Josh Perry. Co-host and interviewer extraordinaire, Anne Lazito. Co-host and marketing mogul, Aaron Murphy. With appearances from special guest, Lucy. Welcome to Twist Gaming, where you get to play board games with us. Good evening, everyone. As the video said, we're Twist Gaming, and tonight we're doing a spotlight session for y'all. Uh, we're going to be doing Rick and Morty Risk uh, by USAopoly, and we have the pleasure of being joined with Pat today. How are you doing today, Pat? Doing great. So, Pat, you're a veteran on the stream at this point now. I think we can declare the third time. Is this the third time or fourth? Uh, third, I think. All right. Well, so, do you count interviews? Because then it's four Oh, yeah. Or then five. it's like 85 times. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well give you a twist shirt at this point. So I'll, gonna, I'll take it. <laughs> I'm going to do my favorite part of the stream, and I'm going to throw the ball to him. See, that's what you need to 3D print next the, is a the ball. Is, yes, or the can we just get a ball? No, it's okay. not fun. Purple beach ball. That way. Pat, welcome back to Twist Gaming. Thank you so much for taking the time tonight to hang out with us, to show us the new Rick and Morty Risk game. We're really excited to dive into it. Talk to me a little bit about, you know, we played Five Nights at Freddy's Clue last time. Not FNAF. Sorry, FNAF for those in the know. Uh, and now we're heading on over to Rick and Morty. And I want to talk a little bit about why this IP? And I kind of feel like this is another IP where Rick and Morty's kind of been around for a while. Nothing like we're in the Dragon Ball Z or, you know, FNAF. Um, and I know USAopoly tends to pick up IPs when there's something going on around the IP. So what led to this decision? Uh, it's a couple of factors, really. One being that there's a, a lot of huge Rick and Morty fans here in our office, uh, myself included. So um, we were eager to do anything we could with the, the license. Uh, so we've done puzzles, we've done Clue, we've done Monopoly, and um, now Risk. So um, that, that was a, a big motivator. Um, but also looking ahead to the fact that uh, Rick and Morty was renewed for another 70 episodes. So we know there's a lot more content coming. Um, and this is a, a very popular uh, IP as far as product and collectibles go. So, um, you know, we've We've got this game out now, and then we've got a couple more things coming down the road not too far behind. Very cool. So how did you guys get... So I've never watched Rick and Morty. You may shame me now. Shame. Ding, ding, ding. I mean, to be fair, <laughs> I haven't watched past season two, so I'm behind on my Rick and Morty knowledge, if you will. What you got to catch up. Yeah. What was it about Rick and Morty that fit well with Risk? So one of the, the things we have to look at is, is there a robust enough world that we can create the map with enough territories and locations to make risk work? And then are there um, memorable factions? And so, you know, when you look at the, the fandom as a whole, there are certain moments and characters that keep coming up or that keep getting referenced on uh, discussion groups and things like that. So we started latching on to some of those um, memorable groups that we could build out. So the president and the, the U.S. Army comes up from time to time, and we thought, okay, well, there's an obvious faction if we're doing um, global conflict. Um, but then what makes the, the board interesting, too, is, <laughs> yeah, there he is. Um, with this one is, is the map could really be this interdimensional space. Um, so that was part of the, the fun of it, too, is how do we take all these really memorable locations both on Earth C-137, where the main Rick and Morty live, and also all the places they travel throughout the galaxy uh, and other dimensions and bring them all together. So the map building got to be really interesting with this. And then um, there's enough story and um, sort of context to work with that we were able to um, pull some rule sets from other uh, theme risks we've done and then twist them around a little bit to uh, feel really thematic and make this risk different from the, all the rest. Very cool. So now as somebody who's not seen Rick and Morty, what am I going to get out of this version of Risk? 
So I think what you'll see is uh, you'll, you'll get introduced to some of the, the different characters and things from different episodes, uh, which hopefully will drive you back to uh, a curiosity to watch the show. But um, the other thing you'll see is um, some unique uh, twists on classic Risk. So we've got uh, Rick's portal gun is at play. So um, you'll be able to warp around the board in ways you couldn't before. Um, Rick's ship battery, which is uh, a reference to one of the episodes, um, is a set of three moving territories that travel around the board, and so that's unique. And then, um, you know, you've got the, the different sort of faction leaders, so you all have um, some of these guys. Uh, there you go. The cards that give you unique powers you can use that um, are different nods to those characters and, and their factions. Um, so there's, there's some different elements here. And then uh, one of my favorite things in, in these themed versions that we do is the objectives. So... Um, you know, sometimes we hear from people that like risk is fun, but it's a, it can be a long game as you, uh, in the classic version, you know, somebody ends up holed up in Australia and you spend a lot of time trying to, to get them out of there and, and take over the map. Um, yeah. So, so we all know that. Right. And so in this version, um, there are these objective cards that you'll be able to go after. Um, and you just have to claim three of those objectives either by completing them or by eliminating players who've completed them, uh, to collect three to win the game that way. We've talked a little bit about Rick's ship battery, and you also brought up the objective cards, and these are some things that are different from your traditional Risk. Is there anything else that you guys added specifically for the Rick and Morty version of Risk, or is there any other element that you've added away kind of in addition to or complementary to the original Risk to make this more modern? Yeah, so the, the objectives, uh, completing the objectives gets you reward cards, which um, help accelerate the gameplay a little bit by giving your faction unique powers you can use. Um, the, the faction leaders have their unique powers. Um, so all of those things are meant to kind of shift your strategy and give you different ways to approach it, um, which takes uh, the original sort of risk where everybody's on an even playing field and gives you some new strategic approaches to uh, winning the game rather than just annihilating your opponents. So uh, I think, you know, folks who are more familiar with modern hobby games might find some things in this version of Risk that feel a little more like what they're used to from the hobby game side uh, and, and helps update Risk for them. Very cool. We've talked a little bit about the various factions, and uh, each of us have already chosen which faction we're going to be. Was there a reason that you chose the factions that you did to be part of the game? Yeah, so we pitched a, a lot of ideas around the office. One of the, the things that's fun is because we have so many Rick and Morty fans, like we're always like, what if we did these guys? What if we took it from this angle? Um, but ultimately, like the Rick and Morty team is awesome to work with. Um, and so we presented some ideas to them and then integrated some feedback they had about characters they wanted to see uh, integrated into the game. And so um, we kind of merged all those ideas together in a pretty collaborative process to come up with the, the final choices you have in the game. Um, you know, and part of it too is uh, we always have to look at the reality of who do we have assets for and, and what kind of uh, pieces can we make and, and things like that. Uh, fortunately, with this team, um, there's often an openness to doing original art or illustration if need be or, or pulling from sort of the deep wells that they have in terms of uh, character art. Um, so that way we're able to do you know, like the, the box art image, which is behind you all and things like that, which are, are kind of new ways of assembling some of the, the work that they have. You know, that's really cool. And uh, as we get into showing off the board, we'll be able to see that, you know, the different factions have their own customized um, miniatures for each of the various factions, which I thought was, was really neat, which is a really nice touch. And when you have kind of these um, larger games, is not always easy to do. Even with Original Risk, you have the horses in nine different colors, but here you guys kind of took that little extra, paid that little ex extra attention to detail to customize the figurines for the various factions. So you were talked a little bit about some more Rick and Morty IP games maybe coming on down the road. Can you share what some of those may be? Uh, I, I don't know that I can yet. Uh, I can share that. Um, so, so part of our agreement and the, the way um, IPs are often divided up, um, we have the sort of co-braining rights. Um, so that's why we did... Uh, Clue and Monopoly and Risk, so sort of taking an existing game and, and merging it with the license. Um, you'll see there are signature games on the market from uh, another publisher. So the stuff we're working on is more in that co-branded space. Um, so uh, 
you know, taking Rick and Morty and putting that spin on games that you know and have seen before. Fair enough. He's got one hiding behind his head. Oh yeah, that's that's that's. Uh, I have to lean the other way, I guess. <laughs> uh, Rick, and, Rick and Morty Operation. So that's that's one that is out now that we did um, based on the uh, Anatomy Park episode. Oh, uh, with the homeless guy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, so I think we're ready to jump into the meat and potatoes of things here. Uh, so I'm going to switch over to the board cam, and you can see we've got it semi set up. We still have to do our placement. But let's do a little uh, tour of the board, if you will. So, Anne, I'm going to have to ask you to help me out here. Sure. So I'm going to start out in the top left, and I want you to read me some locations. Oh. Not your top left, camera top left. Oh, jeez. Oh, this way. Okay. Yeah. So over here we have the oh, – see, I feel like – maybe I'm – I hope I'm going to do this justice. Uh, we have the crazy outskirts, and in here is the gear spot, vendor alley, gear city clock tower, planet – Squanch. Yeah, Planet Squanch. Vi Village, Blood Dome, and the Wasteland. So, question for you here, Pat. Why is there a one underneath this here? This planet, that's one, two, three. Oh, just wanted to, I'm, you're not Pat. I'm just asking the question. <laughs> no, go ahead, ask your question. Yeah, so the, the numbers on the board, uh, the first player will always roll a die at the start of their turn, and that determines where uh, Rick's ship has jetted off to in the uh, multiverse. And so... Um, that also indicates where the the three locations within his uh, ship battery are located. Mm -hmm. uh, once somebody takes full control of the battery, they can then move that ship anywhere they want. So uh, within those six numbered spaces on the board. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Pat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and the section below it, we've got the fringe region. So we have Bird World, Masha's Council. Did I pronounce that correctly? Mm -hmm. Okay, shopping center, desert, Rick's camp, and Immortality Field Resort. I'd like to go there. Is that a place I'd want to go? I don't know. I feel like that's one of those places that, like it sounds like I'd want to go there, and then I'd die. So over here, we have the Citadel of Rick's, the Wishing Portal, Mega Fruit Farm, Teleportation Room, Morty Town Ghetto, Tribunal Chamber, Simple Rick's, and the Landing Pad. Up here, we have Earth C-137 area. So you have the pawn shop, the Jerry, Bur the Jerry Burry, Needful Things, Pluto, Area 51, Smith Residence, Jerry's Apartment, St. Gloopy Noops. <laughs> that's my new favorite thing ever. Uh, Harry Herbson High School. That's pretty fantastic as well. And Nupita N 4. Nuptua? Nuptua? No, Nup there's Nup no U. How do I pronounce Nup it? Nuptua. Nuptua? Yeah, as in, as in nuptials. It's a, a planet for marriage counseling. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> and it's missing a U. <laughs> I have Unity's Planet with the world capital. Capital? Wow, that was terrible. Capital. That's missing an I. Yeah, it's missing a lot of letters. <laughs> <laughs> Summer Morty Mountain, Town Square, Central Park, and the Stadium. And I thought this said Purple Planet, and I was really disappointed. It says Purge Planet. It's really rough when you're reading it all upside down. Uh, Lighthouse, Nana's House, General Store, and the Mansion. So these planets aren't equally divided by the number of territories that they have. That's interesting. Kind of like Risk. Yeah. I guess so. <laughs> All right, so um, what else do we have to go over here, Pat? Um, I think that's uh, probably a, a good introduction. Um, you can see, obviously, for the viewers at the, the top of the board, there are the objective cards. So there are four Morty objectives, which are easier because Morty's Morty. Uh, and then the slightly more difficult uh, objectives are the Rick objectives. Um, and then the, the Rick's battery board is in the middle there. There's some neutral units, which represent the uh, armies or the, the factions that are already there so that you have to defeat them first to take over the battery. Um, and then above both the Rick and Morty objectives are the, uh, the reward cards. So if you complete an objective turn, you can take one of those uh, reward cards of your choice and kind of power up your armies a little bit using the extra power. So, Pat, I know we talked about the fact that, uh, aside from wiping everyone out, you can win by objectives. 
So I believe you said it was three objectives for victory? Yeah, and so the way you can do that is um, you can just complete the objectives as they're described on those cards uh, to claim them, or you can eliminate a player from the game who already has objective cards in order to steal their objective cards. So, so um, does it have to be approaches. just Rick objectives, or can it be Rick and or Morty objectives? Rick and or Morty. So you can do three Mortys, uh, two Mortys, and a Rick, whatever kind of works out. Okay. Uh, in your favor. So I, I want to go down the line here. Let's show off these objectives. So if you could pass me the Morty objectives, I want to do them close up in the camera. Thank you, Josh. So we've got this one here. So conquer three territories from a single opponent in a turn. Gain at least eight units at the start of your turn. Conquer four territories in a single turn. And destroy seven enemy units in a single turn. All right. So then the Rick objectives that we've got here. These should be slightly harder. So possess territory cards worth 800 or more schmeckles. Uh, control two regions at the start of your turn. Yeah, that's a big one. Destroy 12 enemy units in a single turn. And conquer at least one territory in four regions in oh, a single wow. turn. Okay. So, yeah, these are more difficult, to be sure. Yeah. And as you might imagine, the rewards from the Rick objectives are a bit more powerful than the Morty ones as well. So it kind of pays off if you if you go for those more difficult ones. Gotcha. All right. So I think we're at the point of the game where we start placing our units on the map, correct? Yes. So 30 units apiece. Uh, is there a rule for first player? I made you uh, Usually a double roll or a biggest Rick and Morty fan is another way to go after it. I made you first player because in the three-player variant of the game, the third player gets an additional territory card, and I gave a territory card to Josh. Okay. So you're first, Matt. Cool. So I'm <laughs> placing first, then. So let's see what I'm going to do here. I also want to point out, while Matt's considering his space, that you'll see these teleportation um, portals on the board, and the way during setup you pull the first four on top uh, cards on top of the territory deck and that's where these portals go to so i have what do the portals do again have we gone over that well, the, the portals are all adjacent to one another uh so wherever they are on the board those uh locations are all treated as though they're adjacent so you can attack from one portal to another um one of the things you can do uh, with your territory cards uh you can of course spend them there's a table on the board that tells you they, they have a Schmeckle value and you can trade them in for extra units at the start of your turn. Uh, or if you discard one, you can move a portal of your choice to that location. Ah, okay. And uh, what's the advantage of Rick ship one more time, Pat? So if you control all the locations of uh, Rick ship uh, the, and within the battery, you get to decide where that ship moves rather than it being randomly done by a dice roll. Mm -hmm. um, so what you can do is load a bunch of your troops into the ship and then move it around the board to attack different locations as needed. That's cool. That's neat. Before you get into placing, Matt, do you want to tell the viewers at home which faction you chose? Oh, sure. I'm playing as the U.S. government. So I've got the president here. And, and who are you playing as? Um, I'm playing as the robotic exoskeleton dogs, and this is Snowball. Kind of looks like you. Yeah. Very serious face. Down to business. And Josh, who are you playing as? I'm playing as the Mythologues. Okay. They don't look very friendly. I mean, the little minis look like cute little friendly worms. I don't, I don't know if friendly and worms. So I'm going to start off in uh, Bird World. Say hi to bird person. Okay. Um, I'm going to go to... Say gloopy noobs. Oh, my gosh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go to Central Park. Cause was it Saturday? In the park? Yeah. Must have been the 4th of July. I'm going to go to Masha's Council over here. Guys are the worst. Uh, so I'd what's the rules for placement again, Pat? So uh, you place one unit at a time until all the territories have been claimed. Uh, and then you continue, at that point, you can add reinforcements to the territories you've already claimed until you've placed all 30 of your starting units. Gotcha. Okay. 
your turn, Matthew. It's my turn. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to go... Yeah, I'm going to go in the desert here. Josh, where are you going? Um, go away, Joshua. Can you put me in Nana's house, please? Guys, leave me alone. I'm trying to run away from you. Can you put me in Simple Rick's, please? Arms are so short. There you go. <laughs> Feel free. You gotta help out too sometimes, Anne. You know, Matthew, it's your turn. You just use the Unity Planet alone. It could be Unit. No, it's it needs Unity. It's not gonna happen. U N I T Y spells Unity. I feel like that wasn't a good move. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely not a good move. Um, can you put me in the uh, the spot with the portal right above my? Simple Rick's character. To Tribunal Chamber? Yes, the, tri the Tribunal Chamber. Uh, can you put me in the Immortality Field Resort? No. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Go, little wormy. Be free. Okay. Okay. Joshua? Uh, Rick's Camp. Saw that one coming. Each other over there. Can you put me in the landing pad, please? I'm going to stretch tonight. All right. Um, okay. George? How come nobody's Planet up here? Squatch? Squash? Squanch. Squanch. Planet Squanch. You should go down there. It's a ploy to get you away from him. <laughs> you should put one there, because otherwise he's going to start invading in your territory. I don't like listening to either of you two when I'm playing games with you. Because you each try to just murder me. Where are you going, Josh? Besides I don't think that that's that. a planet. <laughs> Or a territory. The wishing portal, be. I guess. It might be. The what? The wishing portal. The what? That one. <laughs> I just wanted to hear him say it again. Um. Where are you going, Ann? <laughs> Jerk. <laughs> Go away, Joshua. Mm -hmm. Like, why are you over here? Protecting my borders. Right there. I'm there already. It's already there. What? Oh, you put your All the spots are filled. Why would you put it all the way <laughs> What kind of weirdo are you? All the spots are filled, so you're going to start reinforcing. All right, so we can only place 30 units. How many have we placed already? Uh, you're going to place all your single units. Oh, it's there's all the single units? Yeah, yeah, there's 30 of them. Gotcha. Perfect. Math is fundamental. I don't know what you mean. Okay. All right, Pat. So what's your strategy for when you start placing your units? Uh, usually I go after trying to get as much of a region as I can because you get the uh, bonus for controlling a whole region. You, you get more troops at the start of your turn. Uh, and then from there, as I'm reinforcing, I try to protect the, the outermost borders. So kind of looking at some regions in the map, some of the, the territories are a little more isolated. They're easier to defend. Um, so on the, the more vulnerable uh, locations that have multiple attack points, those are the ones I'll reinforce. Uh, although the part of the, the fun of introducing the portals in this version is uh, if you only protect your borders, somebody might move a portal into the middle of your territory where you have less units and attack you from the inside out. That makes sense. Immort immortality Resort again, please. Go away. It's 
It's Matt's area. Why are you telling me to It's go not away? because it connects right there to mine like I'm stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I can't let Matt have that whole region, though. Well, you then can. You better. I mean, you could. You're going to get Asia or Unity's palace. <laughs> That's not Unity planet. Asia. <laughs> <laughs> the equivalent of Asia. So good. Can we only reinforce up to two? No. 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 You can stop as many all the rest of you guys in, in that little area down there if you want. That'll be yours. <laughs> I might. <laughs> I just might. No, that's a dumb idea. I feel like that's going to be my suicide bomber. <laughs> Never start a land war in Asia. <laughs> um, let's put this other guy with uh, Rick Scamp. Okay. Go away, Ann. <laughs> Go away. Mm. You're gonna, you're really gonna let him have the Unity's planet? Matt, you have like two air, two regions that you're trying to take over at the start of the game. You're really gonna have, you're gonna let Josh get Unity's planet? You're not even gonna give him a fight? Where did you put uh, over there? I don't have anything over there. Exactly. But I would put stuff there. I don't. Could. Where'd you put stuff over here? You didn't. Right there, because it connects. No, no, no. no it it's connects. Not the same thing. It connects. Then that connects to there, and I have a unit there. Which I'm gonna murder in like three seconds. That's what you think. <sighs> Josh. Um. Joshua, just let it go. Let it go. Let it go. He's gonna kill you soon. It's your turn. <laughs> what was that even? <laughs> it's not even English. Okay. Look for building a wall. I'm the president. You, you get it? I feel like they're all around this portal. No, they weren't. Yeah. No, they Just weren't. Like Those are my troops, not yours. Don't they're touch them. They're doing a seance. Don't touch them. <laughs> doing a real great seance. going in. She doesn't know. If I did, I'd be placing units there by now. Go ahead, Ann. Yes. Kill her. Kill you see what you're doing? Not doing anything. Squanch. Squanch. Not squash. Oh, I can't read it because my guy's on it. It's not winter vegetables. <laughs> maybe, maybe maybe that sounds is. like a better planet. It's the squanchiest planet around. I've been playing a lot of Fallout, so I'm going to hang out in the wasteland. Did he just skip over me? Yep, sure did. But now you know where he's going, <laughs> so there's that. What? Don't put stuff there. I'm going to kill you. I'm kicking you out of Australia. Time to everybody again. grab for the thing at once. Uh, back on the immort immortality resort. And that's it. I've placed. All oh no, I have one more. She can't count. 
fortify the borders. Oh yeah. Bring it. Bring it, son. Oh, you're gonna get run over like a tidal wave. Cause he placed everything over here, yeah. and you're gonna take over the whole world because Josh is a child. I like how the trash talking started. We've never really started the game yet. <laughs> <laughs> what do you expect? From this? I already hate you. you remember April started. Fool's stream? When I threw the Monopoly pieces at you, because you're a no, jerk. No, yeah, I no, remember the that. Risk one. Yeah, I, I lost that game really quick. <sighs> All right, so I forget how to play Risk. So, Pat, what do we do next? <laughs> um, so you're going to follow the, the turn order guide. Um, so if you are the first player, you have the privilege of moving Rick's ship until it is controlled by a single player. Uh, and so to do that, you'll roll a die. I rolled a three. Uh, so you'll move Rick's ship to space three. And so that's the anyone in that territory, which is currently Josh, is able to attack the microverse, the outer territory of the battery, uh, as job. if it were a Jason. Good job, Matt. Uh, and then you'll do your reinforcement units. So um, this would be the time you would spend any territory cards if you wanted to to buy extra units to start your turn. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you also get a uh, number of units equal to the current number of units you have divided by three. Um, I'm remembering right. Uh, number of territories you control, not number of units. That's my mistake. Um, so you count up how many uh, territories you control and then divide that number by three, and that's how many units you get. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Is that right? Yep. Okay. Thirteen divided by three, so I'm going to get four units. Correct. Right. Uh, and then. If you controlled an entire region, uh, so if you had all of the, the fringe region, for example, that would give you a bonus of three more on top of that. Uh, and then um, I think uh, reward cards, some of the reward cards give you extra units as well. So, okay. um, And you can place those units however you want. Uh, and make sure to place your leader as well into a territory you control. Okay, so they go on the start of your turn or just at any point in time? Uh, at the start of your turn, you're going to place it. So, um, and and the way it works is, um, uh, as long as you have units in that location, the leader is on the board, uh, and then will move with units already on the board. If all of the units in your leader's location are defeated, then your leader goes back to your supply, and you place them again at the start of your next turn. Okay. So I'm going to place my four new units. And I'm going to put my leader there, too. Hey, guys. How's it going? But why? Do you feel lonely that you're not in this fight? Yeah. I just wanted to be annoying. Mission accomplished? Mission accomplished. All right. So I've placed so you new units. Yep. You've reinforced. So now you have the option to attack uh, any adjacent territories. Uh, and you can attack as many times as you like. Um, for each unit you're putting into the attack, you can use a die, remembering that the leader does not count as a unit, uh, up to three attack dice. Um, and then there are two defense dice, which are the blue ones. Um, of course, you have to defend with two uh, units, at least to use two defense dice. So then you'll resolve all the attacks you choose to do, and then you get one maneuver action at the end of your turn. Uh, and then if you won at least one battle, you'll draw a territory card. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is, oh boy, what do I want to do? I want to put him on the portal so it looks like a proper seance. Thank, thank you, Ren. You're welcome. Um, yeah, I'm going to attack with, oh man, I kind of lost my idea of what I wanted to do here. Sure. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to attack with three units from Bird World over to Planet Squanch. So in order to do that attack, you'd have to have at least four units there because the oh, attacking that's, that's units, that's if you right. win and, and clear out, have to move and you have to leave somebody behind. That's right. Okay. So can't do that then. You can attack with two. Could attack with two. Yep. But instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attack with two units from down here over to Camp Rick, or okay. Rick's Camp. 
Hey, get guys. out of my camp. So you're going to get two defense die because you have two defending units. I'm going to get two attack die because I only have two attacking units. Yep. And, you and Josh can defend with only one of those units he wants and just roll one die. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay. Well, but you... S oh, no, no, mind. doesn't matter. Fives. Ooh. I rolled a one. So one of my unit dies. Yes. There you go. But now since he only defended with one, what happens now? So you can choose to keep attacking him to try to get rid of that last unit, or you can choose to stop. I'm going to keep attacking him. I rolled a three. Two twos. Yeah. So I lose a unit then. Yep. Yep. Do and you keep attacking, or do you want to just... And I can only keep attacking with those same units, or can I start moving units from other regions? So you can't move units, uh, but you could return that unit back to the landing pad and then attack from a different location. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to move him back here, and then I'm going to attack with two units from this location. Oh, I'm going to make change here. Get out of my camp, Matt. What'd you roll? Two. Double ones. One and three. I did. Okay. Um, so that'll... I think that's going to be it for me now. No other attacks? Okay. No. No, I am going to attack one more time. I'm going to take two units from here and attack uh, Morty Town Ghetto. Why? He's attacking the ghetto. And are you going to stick for this? Am I going to stick for it? Just going to shake a stick at it. Oh, damn it. Go ahead. Roll. You got a six and a five. That's good, but I also get a plus one to my you highest don't. attack. You that's don't. a defense. And Roll. defense die. But that's oh. not your. That's your only guy's not there. It's only where you're here. Oh is. man! But you win on ties anyway, so okay. it doesn't matter. But I would want. I wanted to win on a with a seven. So I roll one of those dies. I'm gonna do it again. I'm only gonna attack with. Yeah, I'm gonna attack with two again. Oh Jesus Christ, Dan! Ah, uh, five and a one. Okay, so you know what? I'm just gonna stop there. Come on, you don't want to come mess with me down in the ghetto? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> we street brawl I'm down not here. Cash you outside. How cash me outside. How about that? Okay, so I'm just gonna end my turn there. You're I threw my with the president into. Uh, no, president's got defense. Into here. Purge pl planet. No. You sure? Nope. All right, man. It's your turn. You're gonna get four units. Okay. How do you know? Because you counted already? Because you have 13 you territories. You didn't lose any territories. so. Why are you counting my territories? Because he's nosy. So where are you going to put your four units? I don't know. You guys are all up in my business. Business. I really would... Matt, before she does that, did you want to use your uh, maneuver action at the end of your turn? I didn't catch if you did that. Remind me again what that is. So at the end of your turn, after you finish all your combat, you're allowed to move uh, one group of troops. Uh, you can move them from any location you control to any other location, as long as there's a path of places you control along the way. Oh, that's interesting. So, for example, you could move, like, one unit from Bird World all the way, it looks like, across to the Tribunal Chamber. You could move two units from there. Um, you just have to leave one, at least one person behind to defend the initial territory. Okay. You know what? I am going to do that. I'm going to take one unit from Bird World, and I'm going to move them over to uh, the teleportation room. Okay. So now you, it's your turn. Feel free. Okay. So I get to put there. four units down? Yeah. Yep. I'm going to put three here. Of course you are. <laughs> that was so salty. <laughs> that was that was so salty. That's fine. That's fine. It'll be fine. And then I'm gonna put one over here because I hate you all. Okay. And then I get to put my leader down. Yep. I'm going to put my leader down here. Okay. Of course you are. <laughs> <laughs> and are you going to attack anyone? Yes. And Matt gets a territory card, right? For winning that fight? What? Taking the territory? Oh, yours. Yes. Oh. 
Have a territory card, Matthew. This is worth. Yeah, the only exception is if if you win a fight but also complete an objective, you have to choose one or the other. So you either claim the objective card or take the territory. Uh, though it's usually in your best interest to take the objective. Gotcha. I am going to figure out my life. I doubt that's true. I forget what the Morty objectives are again. Um, no, no, you kay. keep doing your turn. So I think I'm going to attack the mega fruit farm with three. Okay. Yes. Uh, I need the two blue defense die. Okay, so can I move my leader with that attack? Yeah. So I could yeah. do three and my leader? Yep. But it doesn't count as an attack unit, it's just a special power. Yep. Okay, yeah, then I definitely need to do that. You depend on one or two, Matt. Oh. Two. I rolled a six. No, I died. Okay, so I lose one guy? Uh, How many people do I lose? How many does she lose? I defended with two. So, it's so you compare your highest die to her highest die and your second highest die to her second highest die. So you die. lose two people, I no, because oh, oh yeah. cause it's only the hi yeah. no add plus one to the highest attack, okay. so that'd be a four no, and a four. No, I my highest die to your highest die. Oh, that's poopy. Okay, and so then that only makes it one. <sighs> that's poopy. I was really excited about that. Okay, so I'm gonna try from here. Okay, three. I rolled a three and a two. I rolled a six and two threes. So you killed two people. Okay, and then I'm going to attack again. I rolled a three. Okay, I rolled a six and a five and a one. Okay, this is your little stone man. And now... You get this at the end of the turn. I get that at the end of the turn? Yeah, if you can, or you can get it pleaded. You, can, you could complete an objective. So... What do you mean, like, but I would have to... Is this the end of your turn, or are you going to no. keep on attacking? I'm going to keep on attacking. Okay. Uh, I'm going to attack Joshua with two people. Yes, I'm going to do this. Um, I'm going to attack him. Can I Why attack from multiple places? No. That's a shame. I really wish I could. Okay. I'm going to attack you from there. I need to die, please. Yes, you do need to die. That's the whole part of why I'm attacking you. I hope you win, Josh. Oh, that's like <sighs> you, nope. don't, you didn't even have to roll. Just let me know. So then both of my guys die? Just one. No, just one, because there's only one defending. Sure. Oh, okay. So then... You do it again. Do a one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, and then I'm going to do it with this guy, too. Okay. I'm going to try it again. <sighs> that's a one. That's a three. Now Josh dies. Now Josh dies. Okay, now Josh is dead. Thank you very much. Okay, and so I only have one person there. Now that's not good. Um. And do I remember right? You have the the Morty objective to destroy seven enemy units in a turn. Yes. Yeah. So one of the things we found helpful in testing that we do is, as you're defeating units, just stack them on that card until the end of your turn, so you can just keep track of of how many as you do different attacks. Oh, how many? Uh, are you did I murder? Uh, three. So you have four. Can you complete multiple objectives in one turn? Uh, no, you have to choose. Uh, so if you complete multiple ones, you have to choose which one you want to claim. Oh, this has just changed my whole life. And here I thought you were going to fix your life. No, I'm about to ruin it. That's what I'm, but that's a three. So, don't be a pansy. Still only gets two dice. Can you attack with more than three units, or are you limited to three? Limited to three. Okay. Can you abandon a territory? No. No. I'm going to be so spread out and vulnerable if I do that. Um, Big 
reward. <laughs> what is you add one to all defense die? Yeah, good luck with that, buddy. Just the you could attack from here into here. Oh, <gasps> that's right. That's still one on one, though. Yeah. Well, one on one, it's something. Yeah, but then I'd be in like the murder you just zone. Need, you just need to kill up to seven units. God, to get the objective. So split. So what are the rewards though? The I can get, get something from one. any of the Morty decks. decks. Maneuver, one maneuver, gain one extra unit at the start, reroll one, complete one additional maneuver, gain one extra. No, it's not worth it. FYI, that's FYI, Anne. Yeah. That's four units. That's three units right there. Yeah, but I'd have to take down all three. It would have to be three on three, and that would be great and all. Technically, it's three on two, but you have to do it multiple times. I defend with two. But then I will cut Josh off everywhere, and then he'll come murder me because he's got to be able to get to you. And he can't get to you this way right now, and he's trying to come this way. And if I play nice, maybe he won't murder me. That is completely farcical, and you know it. <laughs> <laughs> he really hates you more than he hates me, though, so maybe it's not. It's okay. We got all night. Well, I wish I had more stuff around here to kill people Yeah, but with. you didn't place things well. I didn't. Okay, I think I'm done with my attacking. All right. Uh, so you're going to get the territory card? Okay. Fancy. Lost I'm going to get for you. only two units because I'm down to 11. Um, did you miss the point where I can maneuver my units and you oh, just sorry. again skipped right all over sorry. my turn? Because that doesn't matter it's if I have a turn. Yeah, it's you only turn. We got 30 minutes to waste for you. <laughs> so much. I need to put this person Oops. here. Okay. Yeah. All right, my turn. Yep. I'll take my. No, I get three units. So I'm down to eleven. Yes, three units. So they're all going to go by Rick ship. And then uh, the stadium is going to attack Town Square with one. Interesting. Oh, and I got to put my leader. Um, leader is going to go to the uh, I don't hotel. Remember, I don't remember what your... The resort. What does your leader do again? Uh, the final unit in this leader's territory must be defeated twice before it, it, it and the leader are removed. Gotcha. It's like an extra life. <laughs> One and a two. <laughs> I can't even believe that happened. <laughs> you butter believe it. We're doing it again. Three. Get a four. <laughs> this is so good. Because he just wants to control that area. I know he does, and that was like my suicide bomber. Like it wasn't gonna happen. Five. Four. Yes. Oh. Mine now. All right. Uh, and then I'm gonna. So the max is three. I can use right. So now he's got that whole planet, I Matthew, know. because of you. You could have put units there, so but you didn't. I did put a unit there. I just got murdered. No, when you where was when your you unit? Recruited more units. Mm. You could have put them there instead of just right. sitting around doing nothing. So I am attacking the microverse. I hope it murders him. For three, and I guess someone needs to roll dice for the neutral territory, right? Yes. You've had better luck than. <laughs> four and a four. Uh, four and a four. That means you lose two. Goodbye. I'm just going to stay there. Good with that. I'm going to... What are you going to do? What are you buying? Oh, okay. I'm gonna. That's. I'm gonna end my turn. I'm gonna move two units down here and get my card. All right. Your turn, Matty Cakes. Did you missed the part where he could. No, I'm kidding because he already did it. Um. <laughs> so, how many territories do I have now? I have one, two, three. Oh, Matt, as the first player, you should start your turn by rolling the die and moving Rick's ship. Yep. Oh. going down here <laughs> to another one of josh's territories so i have you missed, missed my count 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I still get four units. Sure, why not? Hey, Josh. How's yeah. it going, buddy? Are you attacking me? Yeah. All right. Yeah. I have to. I'm sorry. Tagging with three. Um, Defending with one. <laughs> I rolled a one. Uh, I rolled a six, a five, and a one. All right. You killed one of my units. Okay. Uh, Put that on this one. One or two? One. That's a six. Ooh. I rolled a six, too, but so I lost one. Still attacking with three. This goes back to me. I rolled a one. Uh, I rolled a two sixes and a two. You know, you could roll on the inside of the spectrum as well. No, no. High and low. Okay. No middle ground. I rolled a five. Oh, five. Okay. So I lost one. Still attacking with three. All right. I rolled a one. I uh, rolled a six. Uh, he's still alive. Yeah, he's still alive. One more. I rolled a one. <laughs> like, worst rolls ever. <laughs> that was the worst rolls. Worst Josh. rolls. And so that goes back in your... Uh, this On the card. Here. So then I move my three units into here. This has got a face on it. What's got a face on it? It's got faces. My worms? Yes. This one has a booty. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um... What am I going to do here? Hmm. I don't like Anne all up in my stuff, but I can't really do anything about it right now. I don't want Josh to get that whole territory, but it doesn't look like there's anything we could do about it. i got to make it through here. <laughs> How about you start kicking him out of there? Why? If you have one of the territory cards from that region, you can discard it to move a portal there. That's right, I could. But I don't. <laughs> <laughs> um. You could do the uh, thing, too, now. I could, but I don't want to. I'm going to... I'm going to stay... go into Anne's area and take her out with your tank. Uh, how many do I have over there? I have five troops over there. Yep. And you have three troops connecting into that area too. Hmm. I'm going to attack with three troops up into this area over here. You're attacking me. Yep. <laughs> sure am. roll both dice because last time was horrible. Yeah, that was bad rolls. Not even joking. Four and a four. Uh, six and a two. So we each lose one. Okay. Same thing. Five and a six. It's five and a six. <laughs> Damn. Okay. I lose two and I'll stop there. That was really good. Uh, here, change the tank change. for a single. There you go. Oh, no, two singles. Sorry. No, one, one single. single. One single. Yep. Math. I blew up your tank, and the guy was just sitting inside it still. Looney Tunes style? Yeah, Looney Tunes style. Okay. These worms say you shall not pass. Um, are you assuming that I'm done, Anne? Yeah. Yeah, I know. I am. Uh, you Do you need maneuver? to maneuver? Um, I don't got to maneuver anywhere. I'm going to maneuver... Let's see. I've got two. I'm going to maneuver two units from Simple Ricks over. Uh, no, I'm going to keep them there. I'm going to move one. Sorry. I'm going to move two units over here. That's what I like there. All right. That's good. Okay. So, so. And how many units do you get? I have 14 territories, which means I get four units. And. Stock up with your dog is and just take over that area. Josh just wants you to take me out. Time for the blob. The blob? That's what I have already said. What's the blob? Just put a bunch of units in one spot and just like 
slowly take over everything. Or you can put units in that area and try to maneuver here. And if you take him, you can take out Josh so he doesn't get his bonus units. I, t I weakened him up for you. You killed one unit. Okay. Out of six. That's still helping. I helped loosen the jar on the, har jan on the spaghetti sauce. <laughs> By taking off the plastic cover that was around the jar lid? It's something. <laughs> I am going to go there. And Matt, did you get your territory card? No, I didn't. How many schmeckles is this one worth? A bajillion. Yeah, I think I can do that. Okay, I'm gonna put more people there, and uh, somebody there, and somebody there. You wanna put one there? No. Okay. No. No. Go okay. for it, Anne. Uh, and now. I'm going to attack Joshua with three of my units. From which location? From... Oh, I didn't even realize that was connected. Area 51. Oh, damn, man. Oh, six, six, two. Five and a two. <laughs> Five and a two? Okay. Well, the steamroll's coming. She's, she's feeling ambitious. We're doing three again. One Six, five, five, two. What'd you get? One and a five. That's two more units. Two more units. Okay. You want to... There you go. Okay. Well, actually, let me... Okay. Uh, and uh, let's do that again. Four and a four. Six and a four. So Anne loses one this time. Oh. And I lose one. Six and a four? Yeah, okay. So that you I thought you were attacking from Area 51. Oh, well, I guess not. Really matter? Yes. Okay. Put him there. And then, yeah, let me do three again. Six and a. Well, it's a one dice. It's a six. Four. So you have to move your three units from area 51 into there? Do I have to move all three of them? Yep. Yes. Okay. That's fine. Okay, so. Six. That's half. Okay, and now yeah, now I'm gonna attack Matt. Wait, from where? Uh, from the general store. Where's the general store? Right here. Oh, okay. It's not very nice, Anne. It's not. Ugh. So four and a two. I got a five and a four. So, but today I had plus no. one, but it still kills me. Oh, okay. Your leader. Oh darn. And I get to move three there. I shouldn't have weakened Josh up last turn. Okay. And now I'm going to attack Central Park. Central Park. <laughs> I had to double check too. Uh, with two. There you go. Six. Six. <sighs> And I'm going to attack again with one. You can only attack with one. Yeah, I'm going to attack with one. I'm okay with that life choice. Ooh, maybe I'm not okay with the life choice. Three roll. Two. Four. Eek. Okay. Well, I'm done with that game. Leave me my planet. It's my planet. <laughs> Go away. I'm going to attack... That's my purse. I don't know you. Two, six, seven, eight. Can I get four more? I think I might be able to. Okay, I'm going to attack Simple Ricks with three. Okay. Oh. You got me. Okay. Damn it. So that's that. And I can move him there. And then I'm going to attack... I think it's time for a friendly alliance, Joshua. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to... <laughs> what? 
That's so funny. So many things to attack. <laughs> Just a I'm little time. I'm going to attack uh, the tribunal chamber with three. Six and a five. You oh, lose two. That was good. <coughs> Eat a fat one. <laughs> I'm going to attack the tribunal chamber with two. Where are you talking with what? From the tank at the bottom. Oh. Five and a three. Oh, look at that. You lose two again. You I suck. <laughs> I did. I did. I did. Um, I don't want to lose that. <laughs> I'm going to attack the village with one. Spread that peanut butter thinner. <laughs> I'm going to get murdered. It's a six. six. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> All right, I'm you done. You don't want to attack the portal at uh up there. Um, Josh. No. No. I'm already in a bad spot. And that's Anne on herself too thin. Yep. 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 There it goes. But Anne. I was going. Look, I was. Y y I think you have seven, right? Yeah, you could you could pick up the Morty one. But do I have to? I thought I had to claim one objective no, that, or the that's other. You just can't complete two objectives and claim them both in one turn. Oh, okay. I would have stopped earlier than if I'd so known that. Where are you Four, going five, to six, redeploy seven. troops, Anne? Are you going to redeploy oh troops? God. Can you redeploy troops? I really wish I could. <laughs> you could move them from that tank. Banned in territory. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. Um, Can she move her leader? As long as she moves the unit with it. Ah, so she can't. So she can't. <laughs> Stuck. Because there's only one unit with it. Okay. What are my borders? The That's going to get murdered. The doctor's without borders. That's right. There is a uh, Rick objective reward that lets you move your leader anywhere at the start of your turn. Ooh. That's nice. Let's go, Squanchy. <sighs> Okay, uh, how many territories did I take? Oh, also, so now I get the Morty objective. So I can pick any one of these? I feel like you would get one yeah, of these. Yeah, you claim the objective card, and then you get to pick a reward of your choice. Oh, oh that's nice. So now no one else can do that, that Morty objective anymore. Uh, the only way they can get it is if they destroy you entirely and, and take Steal it. Steal me. Do... Do I get to use this Morty reward every turn if I get one that's at the end or start of my turn? Yes. Oh, that's that's a handy one. Yeah, the, there's a few that are one use only, and they'll say it on there. So a lot of them are redundant. So you've got the complete one additional maneuver at the end or the start of your turn. Gain one extra unit at the start. Reroll a one. And yeah, so it. there's two of each. Or there should be, I believe. So I think that I'm going to use the gain one extra unit at the start of your turn. I'm going to pull that reward. That's a nice one. Yeah, I think it is. Um, I'm sorry that I murdered you all. I'm, it's going to come to bite me in the end because yeah. I really spread myself too thin. I wish I would have only stopped at seven. Okay. Good all talk. Right. Karma's not just a river in Egypt. Yeah. So I have ten locations, so I'm going to get three. Uh, wait a second. How many territories did I take? Two... Does it matter? Three. Yeah, because I get... Oh, no, because I only get the objective. I don't get the territory cards. Yep. Right. Uh, I don't and, really and you only get one territory card no matter how many territories you claim. Oh. Okay. Right, so yeah. I, I have ten territories, so that means I'm going to get three. Okay. I'm going to get an extra three because uh, I have you units these planets. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. I could play cards from my hand to get more units, right? Yes. So if I spend these two cards, I have 300 smackles. Strange Schmeckles is four more units. It's four more units. And so that's ten units. Ten units. Place. And then I at least complete the Morty objective of gain at least eight units at the start of the turn. Nice. Correct. So is there an objective one for the same? Uh, a Rick one for that with more or no? No. Okay. Um, so yeah, the, there is one in the game, but it's, uh, it's, it's not in play, I think, for this okay. round. Not there, so we have that there. 
Go aw- go fight him over I there. I have nothing to All no. Right. I, I I'm not gonna spread myself thin like you did. I'm pro- that's defense. <laughs> Stay out of my spot. Defense wins championships. It's building the Great Wall of Joshua. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And um. Let's get going. Uh, so, and I can't. Pawn Shop is going to go after. Uh, That's fine. Jerry, uh, Jerry Burry. Yeah, Jerry Burry. Uh, six five five. Put it on his card. The objective. Oh, did he? You, no, he you can't. You collect that. Yeah, yeah. Oh. So why didn't you take it? I, I think yours too, Josh. I haven't. It's at the end of the turn. I take it. Oh, okay. I, I could complete something else different. Um, uh, three are going to go into the Smith's residence. Okay, go away now. Now go away. You got you reap what you sow, and wow, one one two. You won. Yeah, you won. That was impressive. Gonna do that again. Do it again. Do it again. One on a three. That's sad. A five. That's five. <laughs> <laughs> Making him think twice about it. No, I'm not. Did you just trade three for three? Yes, yeah. because he's uh, going to attack, attack three he's over here. He's probably going to attack with two at one point if he can. But I thought he only had attack three you there. defended with one or two. Oh, uh, two. That was terrible. Uh, you actually do kill one, one of them. Kill one it's of one them. for one. Funnily enough. I will attack with three again. Super, super soldier. The two. <laughs> there, there. Okay. Um. Two guys to Jerry's apartment. Six on four. That's four. Bye, Jerry's apartment. Um. You still got Saint Gloopy Noop, Sam. <laughs> I'm going to send two into the Smith's residence. Six and a one. I hate him so much. I'm going to send one into here. It's being aggressive. B E. Aggressive. Oh, six and it doesn't matter else. Where's the die go? I don't care. Where's the die go? Where's the die go? We, we need it for the I game. I don't know, Josh. You threw it on the floor. You're the one not being responsible. Yeah, can you? No, I can't. This? Nope. I don't know where. I don't have enough. I don't have enough oh, it's, forces. It's on that side of the table. I see it. It's by the power cord. I don't. I don't have enough oh. forces to go over there okay. and get it. I'll grab that in a minute. Uh, game over. Die is lost forever. <laughs> We'll stay with that for now. So how many territories did I conquer? He should have only rolled one. He only should have rolled one. Oh. Well, the die on the floor is now the die I didn't use. It'll be fine. What if that was the one that was the lower roll? You kept the six. Yeah. What the if the one on the, the table. What was the one that's on the floor? What did you roll? A two. Shut up. I rolled a three. <laughs> On the floor. Um. Da, da, da. I'm going to go in there. Leave that there. I think that's the end of my turn. Um, how many territories did I take over? One, two. Three. I took over. F- how many did I think I would hook over? One, two, three, four, five, six. Any of those? No. No. Oh, I didn't check if I got 12. I don't think I destroyed 12 units. No. Though. You did not destroy 12 you units. You got maybe six. Yeah. What's that last one there? Conquer at least one territory in four different regions. Okay. All right, so that's going to be on my turn. I'm going to get the... I'm going to take the gain at least eight units. Okay. The 
Thunder makes it your turn. Maddie kicks after. Oh, you've got yes. a maneuver. I got a maneuver. Uh, I'm going to take the complete one additional maneuver at the end of your turn. Um, and I'm going to move a unit. Here. So this is going to go to five now. Yay. So how many do I have? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen still. So I'm still going to get four, but then okay. I get three additionals from the fringe region because I have that whole territory. So I'm going to get nine. So I'm going to do four. Six, seven. Mm. I think you get seven, Matt, if, unless my math is off. Three and yeah, you're right. I I math bad. Sorry. Good job, engineer. Yeah. That's what they make tolerances for, right? Exactly. Do this instead. Okay, so I'm going to attack uh, from Vendor Alley over to the Blood Dome. Okay. So, Josh, I need three dice, please. Thanks, Josh. You're attacking. Uh, you're only defending with one. Six. Goodbye, my little robot. Goes there. Then I'm going to attack with two over to the wasteland. Ooh. Just makes me feel bad. You attack with one now? Um, into yeah, the I'll village? I'll attack with uh, one into the wasteland. Oh, you're going for 12. Christ. Okay. I will attack with I two. Don't, this is not mine. <laughs> this is me. Oops. I'll attack with two into the wasteland. From where? From where? The desert. Oh, the desert. There we go. Level six is. <laughs> Okay. Then I'm going to attack with two into the village. I can use the wasteland. Not yet. Two. Three. <laughs> okay. Kill one more of yours. Um, then I'll attack with two into planet Squanch. From where? Bird okay. planet. Why are you questioning where I'm attacking from? Because I need to know. I need. To this is important information. Uh, six nice. and a five, Matt. One and a three. Okay. Screw your troops. It's oh, my I didn't land. place my president at the start of my turn. You did not. You should. We um. Just put it. Words. Words. Uh, pan the camera over a little bit. They can't see that area, Matt. Oh. Okay. So I'm gonna put the president. Over here. There. Yeah. Don't want to put it like where Anne's going to attack you later? Where's she going to attack me? Down there. It's fine. She could have that. Um, I'm going to attack with three down to the simple ricks from the area above it, the tribunal chamber. Oh, no. Okay, you killed one. I'm going to attack with two now. Okay. Oh. Okay, there we go. All right. And I don't even know what the last two Morty objectives are. Uh, conquer four territories in a single turn, which I think you did. Yeah. And conquer three territories from a single opponent in a single turn. Which you, also, you did. also did. I can only get one though. Yep. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and end my turn there. One, two, no, okay. It says conquer at least one territory in four regions, and I was wondering if you could. So do I collect that now or after I maneuver my troops? 
Uh, after the maneuver, it's at the end of the turn. Okay, gotcha. Hmm. So, what I'm gonna do? Oh, sorry, I, I stand corrected. It's it's been a while since I've uh, done this rule book. Uh, you choose your objective first, and the reward then maneuver. Uh, and if you didn't choose a, re a reward, the last thing you would do is take a territory. Okay. So let me see what I have. Gonna do complete one additional maneuver at the end of your turn. Is that what I want to do? Throw the troops around. That's a good one. Yeah, I'm gonna do that one. Okay those back there. So my first maneuver is I'm going to take two troops from here, move them over here. And my second maneuver is I'm going to take one troop from the simple ricks and move them into the teleportation room. Actually, no, that's a lie. Put that back. No, I'm going to do that. Just to annoy you. All right. That's the end of my turn. But are you sure? I am sure. Okay, so I have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I get three plus two from the purge is five plus one from my thing makes it six. Mm -hmm. All right. So I am. Going to clean up, Matt. What did I do to you? Nothing. That's what. Just killed her. I didn't know such thing. Like three or four locations. I don't know what you're talking about. This video content. One, two, three, <laughs> four, five. What am I talking about? <laughs> oh, that amnesia is real good. Yeah, he's gonna wind up controlling. You got your that. dog down there. You should go. I definitely need to put at least one on here so that I can move the dog. Yeah. Um, it's and then I one. have five more to go, so. Buttons. So, and what you could do is load up at your portals and then portal into that and take out that whole island because it has like nobody on it. This or has like no one on it, too. It's true. <laughs> and it was her territory beforehand, so there's like the revenge factor. Uh, revenge isn't always the smart move, but it is a dispatcher of gold. Revenge. Matt's going to get this planet if you don't do something about it. Uh, I might do something about it. He'll wind up doing something about it. Don't worry about him. Okay, so then one. No. One, just two, take an army with the dogs. Three. You get plus one attack. You just destroy the rest of everything he has. Notice how Josh is like pushing you away from him. Yeah. You might want to at least fortify these because otherwise he's just going to take them on his turn. But that's less units to attack you with. You want to give him a plus six bonus for owning that? Blow the mansion and just steamroll down the south. Yeah, that's. I think. I think that's a good move. Then you get the pl plus six. Plus but six. you'll get plus four for taking that. Plus six. Guys, I hate you. And you're gonna murder a bunch of people, so you might even get that twelve kill and get the. Rick I'll let you have the Citadel of Rick's Am. You can't let me have it. I'll start moving troops out of it. I'm not going to reinforce it. If you start taking out the Earth C-137 area. I don't know if I believe you. I'm the president. <laughs> <laughs> I think that makes her believe you less. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not that president. Uh, it doesn't matter. All right. I think... I think I'm happy with that choice. Okay. Uh, I'm going to start Did with... you put all your units down? Yeah, because I put down three t two tanks. Okay. Uh, I'm going to attack the tribunal chamber with three. Oh, those are your defense dice. Okay. Um, oh, wait, 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 wait. No, yeah, that's fine. Okay. I rolled a four. And you rolled a five. I but rolled I rolled a five, five and a, a six four, and a five. Oh, you didn't roll that one? No. no, he only has one guy there. Okay. So I moved here with three. Am I happy with that life choice? 
I'm going to attack the teleportation room with three. Two and a two. Three and a two. So does or that mean, one. because that's a four, so do you tie? Do you take one? I do. It's uh, a one. Do you add plus one to both your dice or just one Just die? the highest roll for hers. Okay. Yeah. So, and I lose one. So that makes these two. So, but I'm going to come and attack you for two anyway. Two or three. You still have another unit there that you could push um, with it. Yeah, I'll do three. That's fine. Five and a one. Five and a three. Okay, so you kill two there. Okay, so that gives me the teleportation room. He's got two, two, two. Two twos. Two twos. <laughs> Matt, I'm genuinely yes. sorry. Um, I'm just giving this to Josh, it's fine. I believe in you. Where, where are you, Ben? I'm going to take two and I'm going to go, go through the teleportation portal in two. No, no, because I'm going to let you two murder Why don't you go to the landing pad with those? Because you use your tank to take out the one guy. If you want to get the continent on this turn. Josh is I'm just giving you... He mansplains to me everything all the time anyway, but he's right. Okay, so the landing pad with the two. One and one. Because uh, you, you rolled a six, which is really a seven. I rolled a four. Seven's higher than four, but a two is higher than a one. Yes, that is correct. Okay, and then one and one. Ugh. No, roll it. I want to beat you with a seven. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy you rolled a one. Okay, that was just incredibly bad. And petty. now you can't move your dog. Now I can't move my dog. And then, um, two. It's two. Okay. I rolled a one. Sorry, Matt. It's fine. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But that's... Two rate that's the start of my turn. You got that one. Okay. Um so that puts two there. Do I wanna try the microverse? It's four units. It's not it's not worth it. Is that why you tried it and gave up? Yeah, because I got destroyed. <laughs> Seven. I'd have to defeat five more. Man, this part is so I really am. I should just stop. You should well, stop rolling down the head. I should stop rolling the head. Okay, so that's the end of your turn. Yeah, that's the end of my turn. So you're taking the objective card? Yes, I'm taking the objective card. The objective? Oh, conquer three territories from one person. Yeah, you did that. Complete one maneuver. I'm going to take the other gain. A unit at the start of your turn. And then I'm going to maneuver. And I'm going to... Move it, move it. Move it. Guy out of glue because new fix because I'm just gonna kill it anyway. No, because I hate you. Okay. Why don't you go over there and leave me alone? How about that? Hey. How about that battle strategy? Hey. Got things we're gonna work on. And that's part of the plan. All right. My turn. We completed all. Oh, the I didn't get a territory. Oh no, because I took an objective. Yeah. You took an objective. Yep, yep, yep. Um. get six units for my turn. Okay. So you're fortifying Earth right now. Fortifying Earth right now. And then I'm going to take these last four and put them on Planet Squanch. Planet, Planet Squanch. Because they're going to Squanch everything. You're going to you're gonna Squanch right now. Um, first I'm going to attack Anne with two. Of course you are. Over here. 
only one. Six and a four. You, if you roll a if six, you, roll you a win. Six, you win. Oh, that's right. I rolled a three. That's not though. a six. That's not a six. Um, you have to stop it. You're in. I believe in you. Five, two ones. Five and two. Hey. Two units. That. Can I put this on here and then iron the objective? No, I no. think that's a great idea, though. Try this one more time. Murdered. I guess it, it would be possible. <laughs> I feel like... Can you earn an objective on someone else's turn? No. Oh, Pat, you're killing my dreams. Uh, six and a one this time. Five and a one, so one and one. All right, so you it's one v one now. If you do this, you stop him. <laughs> I like how he... rolled a six. He's got a dumb smile on his face. Let me see your stupid <laughs> smile. No, roll. I hate you. Oh. You win. <laughs> <laughs> you rolled, rolled once. One. Really bad. Ah, so I can't take it. <laughs> you lost units. that a one. <laughs> High five, man. Nice. All right, let's take three units from Planet Squanch. I think we're gonna go north to the Gear City Clock Tower. Yeah. Oh, one. Uh, six, six, two. Oh, oh five. It's almost a good one. Okay. Put, no, put that unit there. I don't think I'm gonna hit it, but. Nah, don't. He's worry. gonna come through the portal, and then I'm gonna murder him. Um, let's take two units to Bender Alley. Bender Alley, okay. Three. Five. Come on, Matt. I stopped him at St. Gloopy Noops. I believe in you. Um, let's you take are Gloopy Noop. <laughs> so one good. unit and go to the Blood Dome. Blood Dome. I think that it's super cute that there are two. Five, four. At n at nuptial, nuptial floor, they're in marriage uh, counseling. Let's take two and go to village. Oh, you better stop him, Matt. Five and one. Yep. Four. All right. Get get your ass out of here. All right, we're Four. good there. Um, I do feel now Bar's pleasure palace would fit right into this version. <laughs> <laughs> I strongly agree. else really for me to do. I'm gonna... You're gonna get murdered right out of the crazy outskirts. That's what's I'm gonna, gonna happen. There. I'm gonna get a territory card because I could not complete an objective. And, uh, I got a card. Oh, and I get to do maneuvers, but I don't want to do any. Okay. Um, yes. Is that true? Yes, it is. Yeah, I don't want to do so any. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Thank you for not taking over one more, Josh. So I'm going to get three troops there, mm. plus three more from the fringe region. So I'm going to get six troops in toto. Put three here. You should come back no. up here and kill those four. Well, if there's so still four to place. Two, two here. Two. Ben, did you move uh, Rick? No, he I did, did not. not. Rick ship is now at four. Which is yours? It is. You can just attack the, uh, the microverse. Could. All right, so I'm gonna take. You just load everything up on the portal and just attack Anne from the inside out. I'm gonna take three from the village and attack the blood dome. All right. I think it's very appropriate that you guys are fighting in the Blood Dome. The Blood Dome! Six. Four. Okay. I'm going to take two from Blood Dome and attack Vendor Alley. Three. Two. Oh, okay. Garbage dice. I'm going to take two from the gear spot. No, I'm going to take one from Vendor Alley and attack the gear city. Five. Two. Now I'm going to take two from the gear spot and attack the gear city. Three. Six. Now I'm going to take two from here and attack Planet Squanch. Planet Squanch will never die. <laughs> My four. 
Yeah. <laughs> Two threes. Squanch won't die. Uh, I'm going to take one from this one, attack Squanch. Squanch got four again. Damn it. Kill your one. I'm going to take one from Bird World and attack Planet Squanch. Squanch says no with his two. Okay. Damn it. Uh, Squanch died. <laughs> Get your Mighty one. Battle Worm died after so long. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just stop things there because that's bad enough as it is. I'm spread way too thin right now. Welcome to the club. Yep. Uh, you complete ejected, though. I did? Yep. What did you complete? Collect uh, control two regions at the end of your turn. Start of your turn. At the oh, start of your turn? Yeah, I can read. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, okay, so... You need to maneuver? Yeah. I really can't maneuver anywhere. Um... You could fortify a border more How? by taking away from another border. No. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, Actually, this is why yes. you're the idea. No, man. yeah, I will. I'm gonna take one off of here. And I'm gonna move it to over here. Okay. Oh, and oh, I can't move my president unless it's one of the troops yep. moved with. Yeah. Okay. Yep. I think Josh is like, yep, like he already thought of that. <laughs> Okay, that's the end of my turn there. So, and it's going to go... Oh, I get a territory card. Okay. You get territory? I got a territory. Is it a good one? It's a territory. <laughs> <Good item. laughs> Okie dokie. I think Anne just six, won. Seven, um, eight, if she nine, can complete... Ten, 11, I got my third objective. Oh, but you? it has to be at the end of my turn, but it doesn't really matter because I control two regions at the start of my turn. Oh, yeah, you won. Oh, I didn't know you had two objectives completed already. Because you have just a pile of crap <laughs> on your t in front of you. <laughs> oh, I guess I should have attacked Anne. Yep. Can I pretend that I attacked Anne? Nope. nope. Oh, okay. Wow, Anne. Congratulations. Thanks, guys. Thank you. That's a... That's a very presidential handshake yeah. right there. I mean, he's playing as the president. <laughs> this, is, this is right weird. No, make mine. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Bingoing. So thank you all for joining us this evening. This was our presentation of Rick and Morty Risk from USAopoly. Pat, thank you so much for joining us today. Is there any aspects of this game that we didn't get a chance to show off that maybe you wanted to touch base on a little bit? Uh, I think it, most of it uh, came up. You know, you got to use some of the leader powers and obviously completed objectives, got some of the rewards. Uh, there are more objectives uh, that weren't in play, so each play is a little different. The strategies you need to use are different, so that's part of the fun. Uh, and there's two more factions that weren't in play as well, and you can uh, see them in the art uh, behind you all. So there is the uh, post-apocalyptic people uh, from that uh, episode in Season 3, and then uh, the Gazorpians who are uh, behind Matt uh, with Masha, and then the, the Gazorpian males uh, that are another faction you can play as well in a very bright pink plastic uh, for those who, who like bright pieces. Um, but otherwise, I think everything was covered. So thank you so much. Thank you, Pat. We really appreciate, again, you taking the time to hang out with us tonight and to show us uh, Rick and Morty Risk. We had a lot of fun playing. Always a pleasure. For viewers at home who are interested in picking up a copy of this game, where can they go? Uh, this one you'll find at uh, a lot of retailers right now. Uh, you should be able to find it, of course, online. Uh, at both uh, game retailers and Amazon. Uh, this one, I believe, will be in Barnes & Noble as well. Um, and then a lot of hobby game stores, of course, here at Friendly Local Game Store should have this. Uh, so quite a lot of ways to get this one because it is a risk title and has pretty broad distribution. Very cool. And we've talked a little bit that you guys are going to have some more Rick and Morty IP games coming down the pipe shortly. But what are your next upcoming releases for those who are interested? Uh, let me think what is what is shipping soon. Uh, we're so uh, engrossed in the 2019 product line over here right now that I have to like backtrack and think what, what's coming. Soon. Fair enough. Um, yeah, we're actually transitioning next week to 2020 product line, so uh, we're we're in a different <laughs> mentality here with our development. Um, uh, but let's see, we've got some more of our Hasbro co-brand stuff coming out. Uh, pretty soon uh, with some of our uh, licensed games. Um, what else do we have late this quarter? Do you have uh, We did just have... Go ahead. For PAX, do you have any PAX releases coming up? 
Uh, nothing major for PAX. We had some some late Gen Con stuff that we thought might uh, end up at PAX, but it actually got out sooner. So our Harry Potter code names and uh, Deluxe Munchkin are both already out on the market. So uh, those will be PAX unplugged and, and available for play there. Um, I think just about everything else is starting to spill over into early 2019. So uh, keep an eye out. You'll see some really exciting announcements from us next year. Uh, some really big uh, hobby games, I think, that we're all super excited about. So uh, stay tuned. Very awesome. cool. Yes, it is Rick and Morty operation behind him. Where you, too, can operate yes. on a hobo. <laughs> <laughs> that, that one is available now. You should be able to find that in stores as well. Thanks again, Pat. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank all of you for watching at home. Stay tuned. We're going to be doing a soft sign-off right now, but we'll be back in just one second to do our first impression session where we talk about our favorite aspects of the game, any constructive criticisms that we may have, and the most important question of the evening of would we play this game again. But for now, signing off, I'm Matt. I'm Ann. I'm Josh. We're Twist Gaming. Thanks again, Pat. We really do appreciate it. Good night. Good night, everyone. <laughs>